Hello YouTube. Hey, well, I have to reshoot this video, recap video. I'm going to have to make it quick because people keep looking. Um, I'm in my hotel room, but uh, recap since last time. I hiked into Tahoe, saw my wife and some friends. Um, people were happy to see me, but some people weren't really that excited to see me, which threw me off. Um, they just kind of acted like, hmm, okay, you're here. And that's a little bit de depressing. Um, in any event, uh, spent some time there, too many days resting, and but I got out, and then eventually, um, what happened was I was able to hike through the Bear Fire, that that scar, and uh, I'm part way through the Dixie. Um, I went and put together several big mile days, several. Um, in those burned areas, and this is clean. This is really clean. Nobody can stay clean out there. It's really depressing. It's all burned, and I really, I think, personally, we shouldn't be out there hiking that section. The PCT should have shut that down. Um, I know people are going to get arsed about that, and they're not going to like that, but it's not worth it. People are having a hard time breathing. Uh, one guy was coughing all night. Um... I was having a hard time at, at points breathing. It's just, it was ugly. The, you could just see the rocks and talk to a couple of conservation um, teams. And they didn't outright say it, but they alluded to like, yeah, well, the only reason we're out here is because it's the PCT. And we wouldn't, one, one person said, we wouldn't even be touching this for three years if it weren't the PCT. But we got to keep it open. I thought, hmm. So I have some pretty strong thoughts about that. I don't care if people agree with it or not, but... I don't think we should have been out of here. Should have shut it down. But anyway, um, let, the, let the land recover. Um, so I uh, put together several big days, got here a full day ahead of schedule, here being uh, the St. Bernard Lodge, Chester, California area. And um, it was good getting in. Uh, St. Bernard Lodge was okay. Um, definitely nice. They don't charge a resupply package fee, so you just hold it. Um, they didn't have Wi-Fi, which sucked because of the fire. They'll get it in two weeks. Um, but they had only dinner and breakfast, and dinner costs money because it's a bed and breakfast. So I decided to um, cancel my second night and come into Chester. And then I got this room... And it's actually pretty cool. Um, it's actually worth the money. It's a little pricey, but hey, you know, you're way out here. Um, a lot of hikers didn't have any options. And I would have shared my room, but I didn't see anybody. I actually saw Vito, but he was hitching. He wanted to get out. Um, but in any event, yeah, done okay. I put together a lot of big mile days. I reached the midpoint. Um, just before the midpoint, found some unexpected trail magic wonderful wonderful p is his name just the letter p is his trail name and they had great trail magic um so that was wonderful to have made the midpoint didn't think i'm gonna make it this far i don't know how far i'm gonna make it um we got about three to four more days of hiking out of this crappy burnt forest um and i got a ride here in about an hour and a half to the trail uh thank you drive through for giving rides, and she does it for free. She doesn't have to, and she's wonderful, and she's in the Chester area. Um, but anyway, um, I'm gonna hike out of here, get my next resupply at Bernie, and uh, some new shoes, have my wife send those, and uh, overall it's doing okay, it's doing okay. Um, my, my body's feeling good, I know I can push 28 mile days every day, every day. I can do 30s pretty well now, uh, like a 30, 32 um, consistently, but my feet really hurt. Pulled off another toenail. Um, but in any event, that's it. Uh, the good, the bad, and the boring. Uh, the good is that I'm, I, my body's getting better. Conditioned. The trail angels are awesome. Um, yeah, the trail magic is wonderful, and I'm halfway there. I made it halfway there. Uh, the bad is that my feet are really hurting bad. 
I'm a bit concerned about them and their health and like my skin, like the quality of the skin. Um, the bad was that, you know, people back home, my friends and such and others didn't really seem to give a shit about me making it there. I surprised him, but I was like, oh, huh. That was bad. That was really depressing. And the boring is really the, the, the daily. Doing this daily. It is taking its toll. It is hard to do this every day. Just sort of zoning out. Um, I have to focus now more on the trees, but they're burnt. Um, maybe that's the, the, the function of the burn section. It's just so boring here. Um, but I'll try to zone out some more. But... Um, and now I think if I'm gonna, if I am gonna try and finish this, because I am, I am thinking about quitting. I've, I've thought a lot about quitting. I've thought a lot about why am I out here. Um, I guess we'll just get into psychiatric. I'm, a, I'm a bit depressed from Tahoe, depressed that you know, hey, this is all the reception I get. I didn't ask for much, but damn. Um, but I have thought a lot about quitting. I have. I'm like, why am I doing this? I know, I, I know, I can do this. Um, but it's just the mental part now I gotta push through. But I thought a lot about quitting. Um, so we'll see how it goes. If I do continue to finish or try to finish and see how it goes section by section, I'm probably just gonna try and push as hard as I possibly can uh, just to kind of get this over, frankly. Frankly, get this over and get this done with. Which just sucks because you're not really enjoying it. You're not really getting it. So, anyway, that's uh, been my experience since coming out of, of the last uh, recap. So, I'm in Chester and headed out. And uh, I know I've got a lot of extra, I've got extra food. So, we'll see how this goes. Um, hopefully, I don't lose too much more weight because that could actually end me too if I lose too much more weight. So, I'll see you next in the next video. If there's a next video. Thanks, Andrew.